What up? Grr, what's good, huh? Huh? You chilly willy snowflake, you icy. So I say, so I say. How you feeling, huh? Excuse me. Yeah. You pay off all your debts, pay off your debts, huh? Getting ready for that big tax return that you, you've been working hard all year, so it's finna be coming, huh? I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at you at all. Hustle hard, man. Or go get it. It's the same song. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me start this off by saying, let me do my Ric Flair. Woo! The screwed up lucky you. Last time I checked, was at like 8.4 thousand views. Now remember, I asked for, I said, let's get this to 10,000. The fact that it's about to hit 10,000 in like under 40, or let's probably gonna be like in 48 hours. I really don't know what other way to explain how y'all are the best fan base ever fan base family ever 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 ever, ever. we are on the road to 50,000 subarinos we are like 41 right now just hit 40 a few days ago that's big man thank you guys for making all of this possible thank you for tuning in every day thank you for watching all the ads if you watch the ads if you got ad blocker on you a special kind of asshole. I'm going to just say that right now. But shout out to um, everybody who's watching the ads, watching all the videos. You know what I mean? I do like three videos a day. Shit ain't easy. It's definitely not easy. But thank y'all. Thank y'all. I love doing it because y'all love seeing it. So, going live today at 8 p.m. Eastern. Now, if you... Uh, there is a Screw and Dax live stream that I did. Everybody that donated that day got is getting the Screw and Dax song early, which is now completed. The song is completed. It's done. Just got a few kinks to work out and then we'll be there. Huh? If you did it, make sure you email screw face or no screw press no screw pre-release at gmail.com. If you do not email that email, you're probably not gonna get the song. That's how you get it. It's not emailing uh, S-C-R-U-F-A-C-E-J-E-A-N. You're going to need to email, you know, what I just said. Screw pre-release at gmail.com. Do that. Make sure you do that. So let's get into this, man. I swear this get more and more ridiculous every day, dog. Shit get more and more ridiculous every day. So you going to tell me that, well, let's run this back, so... This starts off Joyner and Tory going at it. Boom. They have a pretty good battle. First round, easy Joyner. To me, first round, easy Tory. Now, somebody asked Royce the 5'9 if he thought Joyner lost or Tory won. Royce responds with a no. Make sure you go watch my full episode uh, uh, uh about that my full blog about that um and then that had tory in his whoo in his get the strap bag he said he went off and him and um royce had like a real long fight on twitter back and forth pew, pew, insults everywhere pew, pew. yeah you an old nigga pew, pew. ah well you a canadian nigga pew, pew. ah well you one of them ribbity rap ass niggas. Well, you lost the joiner. You know what I'm saying? Just back and forth. And then it went further and beyond. And go further and beyond. Than just hip hop. Because we started getting some SMIDs going. We started getting some, uh, uh, remember you said this, I did it. You know, them, them threats. We started getting some, some them threats. Threats, I, 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 I chop you up like a, I chop you up like a little piece of celery. You know what I'm saying? Threats. It was them threats. So apparently, the next day, Tory gonna tweet out, 
had a convo with joint uh with Tor uh Royce. I don't know why I keep doing that, I apologize. Just had a convo with Royce. You know what I mean? We did a lot of building. He apologizes for some of the stuff he said. He says, as my D comment was out of line. Uh Tori said he sounded like a hater. Called Joiner his man in him. So then they squashed it, apparently, right? Apparently. But then I see other things where it's like, where, where Tori's like, wait, so so you guys think that I, I, I'm puss because, I, 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 or, or, or I didn't mean what I said right back, chat, because we apologize? Let me just speak about that for a second. Everybody who's like, hey, yo, Tori, you, you lame. And I know I, even in my thumbnail, uh, about the video when they made up, I was like, is Tori shook? Now, that's just me being me, you know what I mean? Because wait, is you shook, man? Is you shook? But let me keep it a buck. I do not believe that it means when two people can handle or talk out their problems like men, that somebody is soft in there. Honestly, it takes way more power to be able to do that. Shows way more control, shows way less emotion. Right, than just acting on your emotions and just fighting uh, every chance you get. That shows way more of that to me. So no, I don't think Tori's corny for that. I don't think, uh, the only thing I got upset at was I felt like we missed a moment that could have been real hot. So then all of a sudden I see this new Tory Lanez tweet from yesterday, man. From yesterday where he goes, he says something along the lines of, I still think me and Joyner need to get in the booth on some hip hop ish for hip hop. Now I'm sitting here like, yeah, but nah, yes. It's got me a little torn. It's got me a little torn. Here's the thing. I think you should have fired off and then apologize because let me just get in my battle bag for a second. Can I get in my battle bag? Let me get in my battle bag for a second. All right. So what you're telling me, what you're telling me is you think now you have a better position or more ammo if you were to battle after the apology? Let me just run it down for you, Tori. Hip hop is very petty, especially during battles, especially during beefs, especially during uh, uh, lyrical wars, right? Especially when you're going to people like Royce and stuff, who that's kind of like, you know, what they do lyrically. Not saying that's not what you do, because I think uh, Tory Lanez is also a lyricist. I don't care what anybody says. People be weird about that stuff. Like, you can't make dope music and also be a lyricist. Like, nah, he a lyricist. He a lyricist. He a spitter. Um, when he wants to be. Most of his songs should be spit about. Uh, so, just on some Smack URL, Smack Volume 3 type ish, just on some ish like that, let me just tell you, as a strategist, you have, I mean, y'all can go with the battle. Y'all can, uh, for the love of hip hop, <laughs> love of hip -hop. for the love of hip hop, y'all can go. But let me just tell you something. If I was in your corner like your coach, I'd be like, listen, Tori, the battle's gone. Because you done set yourself up for a crazy L now. Because in real life, two men squashing an issue behind the scenes is cool. In battles, it's not. <laughs> and you got to know that. You just kind of handed Royce the sharpest dagger because now it's like if we battle royce can literally have an entire verse an entire song about how you jumped out the window then you backpedal even if that's not what happened what you did is you've given him the key or the paintbrush or the brush to paint that narrative and there's gonna be nobody who hears Roy's track who's not gonna believe that and not gonna feel that. It, it's kind of like the six nine bar. When you use real life stuff 
that we all know and all see as a punch. It is way more potent. Way more potent in the battle. So you... It it, it works in, in like threefold. It works like two, threefold. Because it's not just that you apologized. The first mistake you did was jumping out the window for that comment. Because now if I'm Royce and we battling, that's eight bars. Eight, oh, you hating on joiner bars. You still on joiner's tip bars. Oh, I, I, oh, so you really felt that joiner really killed you and that's why you insecure about this whole thing. And any, anytime someone brings up joiner, you jump smooth out the third floor window. So that's eight bars at least right there. And when, where you messed up, Tori, is you left a paper trail for everybody to see. This battle would have been way more even if you would have did what you did and just went at him. Because it's the jumping out the window. It's the coming back after it and being like, oh, I'm sorry, I apologize. I didn't want to look like I was hating on Joyner. Because now he can do on some, oh, you some old bipolar, oh, and then the deleting the tweet. I'm telling you, all this stuff might not be what it looks like, but in a battle, I'm just talking about battle, you better believe Royce is going to paint that and Everybody's gonna agree. There's not gonna be anybody who who will see the transactions and see what he's saying or hear what he's saying and be like, oh yeah, he lied. No, 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 no. It's the fact that we saw it. He can go off talk about oh, uh, 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 uh. Anyway, he could talk about you like, oh, you a hater on Tory. I mean, on Joiner. You bitter. You from Canada. He can do all this stuff, right? The deleting the tweet. Now he can make you look like you were scary. No, and I'm saying because you're gonna hip hop battles don't work like like you think they're gonna work. It was like because are you gonna come on the track? You can't come on the track saying the stuff you said on the tweet about deleting the tweet. Because what you said was ain't nobody scared of Royce. I deleted the tweet because it looked like I was hating. Now, I commend you for being transparent. I commend you for saying that. That's real dope, real smart of you. But, but, in a battle, that's not going to fly. You can't just have a, a, a verse explain, I deleted the tweet because it made me look like a hater and I'm not really a hater. It's like, ah, that's not going to be good. So you deleted the tweet. And then, Still saying, oh, you want to battle after it. It's, it's just looking bad in the sense, like in the sense of real life on some man mature stuff. Good for you. You win a gold star. I mean, that's about as far, that's about as much as you'll get. I don't, like I said, I'm not, I wouldn't have cared if they would have fist fought. I, that, that, I'm not invested in that too that much, but cool. But I'm telling you right now, what's going to last longer than that would be, a battle would be Royce on a song expo. All he has to do is make that rhyme. All he literally has to do is explain the last 48 hours and make it rhyme. And Tori, you're going to look bad because I already know what you're going to come with. You're going to come with he's old. You're going to come with that ribbity rap. People don't be selling records. And the problem with that is you already battled to uh, Joyner. So using those bars again is gonna be, is gonna have uh, uh, diminishing returns. It's gonna be like, all right, we, okay, we get it. You're battling people, lyrical people don't, okay, cool, I get it. Like, you're gonna need, you're giving them too, you're, you gave Royce too much real stuff and the most you're gonna be able to rebuttal back is gonna be rapper hyperbole, which is what, oh, you know, just exaggerations is gonna be, uh, 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 like schoolyard insults like oh you old nigga. but that's not gonna match up to real facts real rap you know what I mean what did Rex say uh, I don't remember what said. but that's gonna hit way harder it's gonna hit you, you you might as well just go ahead and forfeit right now unless you know something about Royce that's gonna make people go crazy but the last 48 hours you kind of doomed yourself to not be able to win a battle 
and especially after I read you saying that we still need to get in the booth. I mean, y'all better be doing a song together because I, I'll put it this way. If Royce don't body you, I would be very surprised. I would look at Royce like, oh, Royce, you, you super trash because he handed you the kryptonite. He said, Here, here's the kryptonite right here. Go ahead, take it for free. So all you gotta do is bring it back to people's attention. There's already some, and, and you can see Tori is getting frustrated because people are 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 like kind of trying to act like he's soft for his response. You can see that. So you're not. It's not the same thing as the Joiner thing. You're a little bit more in an emotional place than you were in against Joiner. So that's never the way to go into a battle. And if this does happen, first of all, if this is going to happen. Do not say anything else about Royce until it drops. If you're going to make a song about Royce, do not say anything else about Royce until it drops. Just as a strategist, try not to be on Twitter as much until it drops. That's only if you're going to drop it because you're going to mess around and say something in the next day or two where if you battle, you already lost. You know what I'm saying? And you still got a chance here. Maybe Royce is not going to do that, which I doubt. But when I hear him saying the right, it's just, it's going to hit harder. I rock with you, Tori. I rock with you tough. You know what I mean? I cannot walk with these hoes. I ride around with the thing. You know what I'm saying? I, I, with Argentina Fargo, hard. Pardon the clink clink. I just bought a new change. Pardon the clink clink. You know what I mean? Y'all don't even know about that. I'm a real Tory at so yeah, but I just I just think you kind of set yourself up for disaster at this point. It's like the MGK thing. MGK lost that battle before it started because he had given like three to four years of material for M to use and people to go back and look at. So y'all put in the comment section, can I there is a way Tory can win. Who wins, man? Now. I asked y'all before all the stuff back and forth, but now if they do make a check, who wins? Let me know. Go live today, 8 p.m. Eastern. Tune in. Get it.